Well, there's our cooper nest. They're branching now. Got two of them left in the nest. They're hopping in and out. And I hear two of them are gone. They're out on the limbs. But they'll be coming back. They'll sleep in here again tonight. I just started the brancher stage. They go out on the limb and exercise and play a little game of hide and seek, then back in the nest. And they all come flying back in here when Mama shows up with the food. You know that. This is her feeding platform now. There, look at that. Something came down in there. What was that? Huh. One of them must have just popped right in there, jumped down in there. Sure, look at that. Well, what the heck was that? It was so quick. He was on, that's number three now, see? He was on the limb and jumped back down in the nest. He's looking for some food scraps. Oh yeah, or maybe, there he comes, look at him. All right, he wants to show off too. Now we got three in there. So I hear number four over in the limbs. How cool is that? That's how quick he could sail back in there. Just a flash and bam, he was down in there. Oh, look how dark his chest feathers are. He's doing really good. He's got a few more feathers on his cheeks. He must have been the first egg that hatched. So Sometimes you get a day or so in them, between them. But he figured, well, I better get back to the nest, see what the other two guys are doing here. Oh, we're glad about that. They're going to clean up. They'll get them feathers all ready to go. Well, see, they're still little guys. They want to lay down and rest, see. He's laid down on the edge there and with his sibling. The other one, I think, wants to come up on top here in the front. Yeah, they're settling down now a little bit. Well, one of the adults just sailed in with some food, and now they're feeding them, but they're down in the nest. We can't see it here. We'll keep an eye on it. Maybe she'll uh, come up here where we can see her. We got these little heads and tails going now. They're hungry. They're getting into the feed right now. They've been sitting in the nest and up on the branches making their noise and exercising. And now one of the adults has done a food delivery. Boy, look at them pulling on it. My goodness. I'm looking over here. Well, they got four big guys in here. Plus one of the adults that brought the food. But that's a big nest. They can have room for all of them. They're just a pulling away on. Look at that. There, another one came down. See it? There comes number four, I think. So I want some of that. He woke up, realized it's feeding time. I yeah, can't see much because uh, she's down in close to the trunk this time. We'll back off a little bit. There we go. Try to see what's going on here. Oh, yeah. We're right in the middle of the feeding session now. Okay, Mama or Papa just slipped off. That's Mama. Landed right across from me. All right. There's Mama. She flew over here now. It's all done feeding them and decide to sail over here on this side of the trail. She's sitting there in the dappled light. Now you see how that breaks them up for camouflage? It's a wonderful thing. Oh yeah, look at this, would you? Really something here. Well, that gives you a good idea how dappled light can be camouflaged. Now that's off her back there. It just looks, breaks it up just like a hole in the leaves, see? It's all part of their protection. I'll see if I can come in on her head here, get a close up on her head. Should work out good. Oh, she's gonna turn around here. There she goes, all right. 
There we go, going up on the limb, see? Just a call in there. He went up on the branch and there's the other one going up higher. There's a sibling in the nest yet. So that's how they do it. Just kind of work their way out on the limbs. Let's see if we get up a little higher again. Alright. Here comes the next one up, see? There you go. That's how that works. We're branchers now, we're exploring around, he says. Hop on this, get up on the limb, and check things out. Oh yeah, back off, there we go. Look at these guys maneuvering around here. Back in the nest, see? That's what is known as the brancher stage. And we're lucky to see some of that. All right, now he's up here. He's going to flap his wings a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Back in the nest and exercise now. We're going to get a lot of activity here. Look at that. Feels that breeze, see, exercising. Oh, yeah. He can get up there pretty good already. Yeah, he's sitting up high in the leaves now. You can't even hardly see him, see? Well camouflaged this nest. There we go. Well, here she is. She's flowing over here now and kind of keeping an eye on things. Watching me and watching people on the trail because the youngsters are branchers now, and they're in and out of the nest. She's keeping an eye on them. You see the highlights in her eye, kind of behind the leaves. I'll back off a little bit. Give you an idea. There she is. Just kind of hanging out. There, a little guy peeking out of the nest, laying down resting. He's been branching, hopping up and in and out. Come in on him a little close there. There he's peeking out at us. Look at him. <laughs> We're admiring his feathers. His eyes are getting heavy, I think. I've been busy exercising. I'm kind of tired. There his eyes are going shut. Oop. I can see his blue eyes. At this stage, their eyes are blue. And they slowly turn to a light yellow. And then to a darker yellow, and then to a yellow orange, and then orange, and then red like the mama when they get several years old. Yep, so then we'll lay down here and rest. Got my beak hooked over the branch or the twig. There you can see that blue eye. Look at that. Isn't that great? Got a Cooper Hawk resting in the nest. Had a busy <laughs> time exercising up in the tree and up on the limb and around and up and down. Now he's going to rest. Just kind of laying there, peeking around. Feathers are growing, looking really good. Yep. He's really having a good time here. Listen to those bird calls. Our little Cooper Hawk here is resting. He's listening to them too. There, his eyes are getting heavy again. A sleepy Cooper Hawk. <laughs> what a great spot. We'll have a couple of holes in the leaves where we can shoot our camera from. But it sure gets interesting. We're grateful for every shot we get. Now look at his blue eye. See? There you go. He's getting tired again. Yep. 
everything's quieted down. I've had a feeding and exercise. And now I'm just going to kind of take it easy a little bit. I'm going to listen to the birds chirp. There's a foot. See, he's laying down on his side. That's his foot and talon sticking out. <laughs> he's stretching out. <laughs> oh, these guys are comical. I love that. Roll right over and stuck his foot right up in the air there. Very amazing. There's one sneaking up from the other side. Buddy rolled over, stuck his foot up in the air and this guy here, he's at the other end, his eyes are heavy and you wonder what that disturbance was. <laughs> there his eyes popped open. Looking really good here. Beautiful eyes on this bird. There the wind kicked up. That woke him up. Alright. Got some weather coming in up here. Yeah, he threw his head back. I think he's going to rest again. There you go. Completely passed out. He's having a nap. <laughs> totally asleep now. He has head down, his eyes shut. The guy's sound asleep. Well, how about that? Cooper Hawk totally asleep now. See the little yellow series, eyes shut. Sleeping away on the edge of the nest. Oh, what was that? He said. Yeah, he's really sleeping. He's fast asleep now. Look at this guy. <laughs> well, this will have nap time at the Cooper Hawk nest. They got their heads in there with the twigs all supported. They're fast asleep now. How cool is that? Everything's kind of quiet now. Alright, we found this one here up here on the limb. It's waving in the breeze here. He's going to preen up a little bit. We'll watch him for a minute. Oh yeah, they're getting all their feathers squared away. Now it looks like by his crop he's had something to eat, so... This is more or less, that's why they're not hollering, they're not hungry. They're just uh, full and resting and preening up now. I'm going to see if I can locate one of the adults. I'd like to get a close-up of her or him, either one today. And record some of these bird calls. Oh, yeah. There was a little fuzz flying off. He got that off there. But he's getting all these little immature feathers on his chest and getting all his colors now. He'll have his white spots. They always get a spot pattern on their back for protection, dappled lighting. And uh, he'll have brown feathers and have little fawn tips on them. He'll blend right in. Now you can see him doing his tail, getting nice bars on his tail now, preening up. Looking really good. We got filtered light right now. It's pretty good. Now he's going under the wing, see? Oh yeah. There, young Cooper Hawk preening. Yeah, he's at the brancher stage. He's above the nest and getting everything squared away. Wants to get ready for his first flight, which won't be too long now. Oh, yeah. Well, how interesting is that? Watching him, he found him sitting up here in the top of the tree and zoomed right in on him. Now he's got his wing down there working on that. Yep, he's just getting everything squared away. There we go. All right, Mama just landed. Checking things out in the nest. The youngster is one above her in the tree. See what she's up to here. 
They don't know she sailed in. She's being kind of quiet about it. Standing up here looking really nice. There's one above her. He's probably napping, but she didn't give the food call. So she's sneaking in here checking up on her youngsters. Got four branchers in this tree and in the next tree over. She's just checking everything out. See the bands on her tail? Our lighting is actually pretty good. Standing up in the nest. Kind of taking a break. Oh yeah, look at that. I think she's going to think about taking off here a little bit. See what we got here. She's in position for taking off. There she goes. Good sized bird. Let's see if she comes back with some food now. Well, I'll try a close up on Mama here. Look at her red eye. Oh, yeah. Back off a little. Well, here's Mama with some food. Got in her foot, looking over here at me, and I don't know what it is. She's got food in her foot now. Thinking about feeding these youngsters. Well, we'll just keep an eye on her. The lighting looks good. I can tell by the way she's sitting there, she's got some food for them. Maybe one of them will see it and they'll come down on the limb. I don't know what she brought, but she's got some treat here in case they want to come in and get it. She's right below the nest. But you can see how she's sitting on the limb and she's got the... There's one of the youngsters talking but she's got the food she's thinking about feeding them if they'll come in on the limb oh yeah a little bit of a breeze now everything's good at the cooper hawk nest Mama's here with the food, and all the youngsters got to do is come and show up for the food. Got food in her foot. There she goes. Flew on down. Going to feed one of the youngsters down below. Here's one in the nest searching for some food. Looking for leftovers. Oh yeah, it's his tail going there. He's just checking everything out. He's hoping to find something. The other siblings are all off in the different trees and on different limbs. This guy's hanging in there close. He wants to be first in line when the food's delivered. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's just checking everything out. This guy's all right. Go back up on his limb, see? He's a brancher. He's gonna check it out. See if he works on the nest a little bit. He did that earlier. Arranged a couple of twigs. <laughs> Come in a little bit, see what he's doing in there. Busy guy. That's a deep nest. He's digging down deep, looking around. Still checking out that nest. He's really getting active. Look at it. He actually put sticks in there too. How about that? I never knew they did that. <laughs> One of the juveniles arranging twigs. 
Can you believe that? I've never seen that behavior. Huh. Must be instinctive. Move some fur there, a little fur twig. And now I moved uh, one of these alder twigs, kind of rearranging the nest a little bit. Well, how about that? Learn something every day. Oh yeah, he's turned around now. Looks like his crop's getting pretty full. Just a working around, showing off his pretty blue eyes and <laughs> it's nice streaks on the chest there. Four good looking healthy Cooper Hawks this year. Right on the Seuss Creek Trail. We're all excited about that. And, oh yeah, look how clear that's coming in. We definitely like that. There you go, you can see he's tearing it up there. Some good food going here. Yeah, we'll see how he does with this chunk of meat. Oh, he had to get behind the limb, didn't he? See what happens here. There he's coming over this way. Looks like he's eating the birds, so he should get that all finished up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Man, that's a good-sized bird, wasn't it? My goodness. Chowing down now. <laughs> Getting the full crop here. Oh yeah. Just uh, getting the full crop now, filling right up. Yeah, she brought him a good sized bird this time. Well, it all works out. The youngsters are big and there's four of them. Now it's uh, summertime and the days are long, so you can hunt right up to 8 o'clock and bring them food. Got plenty of time to catch all the food they'll ever need. Oh, I just love them eyes. Look at that. They're really good feeding here. I hear one of the other little birds making a racket. Been eating for a while. It's going to finish up the whole thing, I think. There's a good chunk. Look at that. A Cooper Hawk eating in the nest. He's a brancher. He can fly 50, 60 feet, sometimes 100 feet to different trees. And they're all hiding in the leaves and when she drops off the food, they come sailing in, making their crazy wee-wee noises. And <laughs> gets really exciting here. You can look and look. They're all hidden in the leaves. You can hear them, but they're hard to find. When she brings the food, then they all just kind of mob right into the nest. Try to see who's going to get possession of the food, see? Oh yeah, this one's a lucky one. There we go. Well, how long does it take a Cooper Hawk to finish his meal? As long as it takes. <laughs> that depends on the size of the bird. This one looked like a good sized bird. I don't know. Could have been a robin or something of that size. Wasn't the sparrow, it was good size. He's working on it. The green leaves, everything's showing up, the bark on the tree, the bird's blue eyes. I can hear the other birds calling. There was a big chunk, look at that. They can swallow a good sized piece, that's for sure. Then in a day or so, they cast up what is known as a casting. That's the bones and feathers that's not digestible. They cough that up into a pellet. That keeps their crop clean. And once they pass that casting, it looks just like a pellet, like a peach pit, you know. And they eat the other birds and uh, go through the whole process again. So, 
very interesting birds actually, so we enjoy it every time we find them down here. There you go, look at him, just tearing it up, finishing up that food. These guys are used to all the bikers on the trail and all the hikers because they were looking out over the nest from the time they hatched so they're kind of imprinted the uh, hikers and bikers and including me because I come on a regular basis as soon as they hatch they look over the nest and see me my tripod my camera and my camouflage hat I always try to wear the same hat so they know who I am and then they allow me to get really close when they're branching and they're down the trail, they oh, that's just that guy, so they're not very scared, and I get close-up videos of them. Oh, yeah. Having a great feeding here. Yep. Cooper Hawk in the nest, finishing up. Well, this one just flew in the nest, checking out to make sure there's nothing left. <laughs> oh yeah, he sees a couple little specks in there. And maybe he'll find him a little leftover. Look at that crop's full, man. Feathers are looking good. A good looking Cooper Hawk here. Yeah, I'll back off just a smidge. There we go. Look at this guy. Yeah, he comes sailing in. He's really getting good on the wing here. Flew in from about 50 feet. Landed in the tree, made his noise, and kind of snuck up the limbs, and in here finishing up a little scraps. Well, we like that. Just a tearing it up in there. <laughs> 